<sighs> Nothing builds character more than hard work. Especially someone else's hard work. Right, Morton? Anything for you, Mr. Kid Swatter. And by the way, it's Myron. Right, Morgan. Hey, I'll give you even more extra credit if you find some room for my ice dancing trophies. Ooh, what's in those filing cabinets over there? Hmm, important school records. Oh, those. Dump them, Milton. Myron. Whatever. <laughs> Mr. Kidswater, look! This old photo looks like Lewis, but he's short and has no chin whiskers. <laughs> it's Lewis's file from when he was a wayside student. <laughs> Pretty goofy looking kid, huh? That photo cracks me up every time. <laughs> it says here, did not graduate. What's this? <gasps> he never passed his final exam. Dude. <laughs> Dude. Dude. Dude's turn. So, wait. My work here is done. You can say that again. Turn in your whistle, Lewis. You're no longer in charge of recess. <gasps> Everyone, please welcome our newest student to class, Lewis. Hey, student dudes. <gasps> Yay! Lewis is the best! Lewis is the best? There's a seat next to me, Lewis. Sit here. Lewis is so popular. I wish I was as popular as Lewis. Wait a second. That's it. So, Lewis, who'll be in charge of recess while you're here? I don't know, little dude. Not to worry, Lewis. I'll be glad to take over for you. What Myron means is, welcome to Mrs. Jewel's class. Thanks, but I'm just here for a little while. You know, until I graduate. What? You never graduated? Nope. And now I'm stuck here with you guys. Isn't that awesome? Yay! Settle down, children. And Lewis, please take your seat. Or I'll have to put your name on the discipline list. <gasps> Just kidding. Isn't Lewis the greatest? Yeah! Everyone loves Lewis. Lewis, Lewis, Lewis. And all he does is run recess. Anyone can do that. Whoa! Lewis! Lewis! Lewis? No, it's just me, Myron. And you need to put me in charge of recess so I'll be as popular as Lewis. Um, can you help me out here first, Martin? I seem to have, uh, dropped my microphone. It's Myron. <sighs> I can't wait until Lewis graduates. Everything is just falling apart around here. <laughs> You're not helping, Melvin. Myron, and I know, but I wouldn't be here bothering you if I was in charge of recess. Get me out of this mess, and it's yours. The whistle's on my desk. Oh, goody! Welcome to recess, dudes. Since when are you in charge of recess? Since Mr. Kid Swatter gave me this. Uh, okay. But where's all the fun stuff? Gone. But I'm in charge and have a list of awesome recessing for you. Paint a portrait of Myron. Write a poem about Myron. Build a parade float of Myron. Sounds fun, right, dudes? Look what you can do with sidewalk chalk. Vote for me! Ugh, this is the worst recess ever. Yeah. Do we even have a ball to play with? Most certainly do. It's my new promotional marble for my campaign. Vote for me. Here, Mauricia, catch. Ooh, I'm 
getting so popular? Hey, I got an idea. Sorry, dude, but you're not in charge of recess stuff anymore. Sure, but recess isn't about stuff. It's about imagination. You want a ball? Think fast. Hey, a basketball. Cool. Mauricia, think fast. Todd, think fast. Hey, Myron, think fast. Hey, watch it. That imaginary bowling ball could have smushed me. Lewis makes everything better. Yeah, and that's why Lewis is the most popular person at Wayside. Yay! Yeah! Don't you agree, Myron? Lewis! No, it's just me, Myron. Who? Oh, I need Lewis. My desk attacked me. I'll help, but you should really give Lewis his final exam and graduate him so I can go back to being the most popular person in class. Ah, oh, that's better. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we just give Lewis his final exam now? Let's go, Martha. It's Myron. Lewis has two folders? I can only give this final exam once a year, Lewis. If you don't pass this, you're stuck in Mrs. Jules' class for 12 more months. So, please pass it, please! Did you get your head stuck in the desk drawer again? And the mic cable, too. It's okay, Mr. K. I'm ready to go. Not so fast, Lewis. Rules say I had to call the old teacher first. Okay, Mrs. Jules, send him in. Mr. Osteo. Whoa! Long time! What subject was that you taught again? Math? Reading? History? A little subject I call... Survival! Bummer. On your mark, get set! Go! You can do it, Lewis! Go, Lewis! Go! The clock is ticking! What is the square root of 64? Eight. When was America discovered? 1492. What is the Pythagorean theorem? A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Correct! What is the world's largest animal? The blue whale. Name the three states of matter. Liquid, solid, gases. Who invented the donut? <laughs> Captain Hanson Crockett Gregory. Yeah! Okay, where's the chalk? Chalk? Quick, get some chalk from Myron. Myron? I haven't seen that dude in hours. Not that Myron, that Myron. Huh? Hurry, Lewis! You're running out of time! Let's see, uh, 14 over 6 divided by 900... <gasps> no! <sighs> oh, no! Now we're not gonna have recess with Lewis for a whole year! Well, look on the bright side. It's only for a year. <sighs> Wait! Lewis did graduate! I found his real folder when I was in Mr. Kitswater's filing thing. Let me see this real folder. You're right! Lewis did graduate! So, whose folder is the red one? Dude, this doesn't look anything like me. <laughs> Myron, how could you possibly think that is a picture of Lewis? That kid has a mustache. That's a mustache? Let me see that. It's, 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 it's me! Great, Lewis! You did graduate! Yay! And that means Mr. K didn't graduate. So now he has to do the test. What? On your mark, get set, go! What 
is the square root of 64. Pickles. No! When was America discovered? 1972. <gasps> what is the Pythagorean theorem? Elemental B. Ah! <clears throat> well, Lewis, I believe this belongs to you, the most popular person for the job. And thanks for covering for me, Myron. So, who's up for some recess? Yeah! Help! of me. I've got this new photo album. Want to see? Sure. Maybe later? Then it's a date! Huh? Hey, wait up! Fluffy? Fluffy? Hmm. I guess he's inside already. You are, Fluffy. I'm just rearranging some photos. Hmm? <sighs> Can you hold this for a second? to put our pictures in this great new album, Fluffy. Fluffy? Where did Fluffy go? Fluffy? Fluffy, where are you? You're not Fluffy. Fluffy. Hmm. Oh. My new Super Big Wig 3000 toupee. Just in time for my jumbo speech to the principal's meeting today. There will be no stage fright tonight once I hide a few minor bold spots. Oh. Hey. Looking good. So much better than I expected. Why, I must look 20 years younger. Ooh la 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 la! Hmm. Oh yeah! Not there. What about the kitchen? He's gone, gone, gone! What do I do? <laughs> hey, I saw him, but he was growling at me. Kind of like this. Great! You speak porcupine perfectly! You gotta help me find him. Huh? Hey! <laughs> Maybe I should go downstairs and give this wig a trim. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> whoa! Hmm, 
That's odd. <laughs> Who knew the Super Big Big 3000 would have so much horsepower? Aren't you gonna speak porcupine? <sighs> rawr, rawr. Fluffy! 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 <laughs> oh, Mr. Kidswater, I was just looking for Mauricia's porcupine. You haven't seen it, have you? Hmm, a porcupine, hmm? Let me think. Hmm. Yes, I think I have. Um. Mr. K, you just said you think you have, but you're shaking your head no. Oh, so I am. Guess I haven't then. Mr. Kitswater, you look different today. Younger, smarter, more handsome. Huh? No, just different. Oh, what do you know? Go back to class, both of you. I need a moment alone. <laughs> Mr. K? I'm sorry, but I thought you wanted to be alone. Yes, I did. Now go on, back to class. Ah. Oh, look out, whoa! Oh. Hey, hey now, what, what the hell now? Watch your back, watch your back! Look, hey, what, hey, hey, get, whoa! Here we go, whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. Ah. Ah. <gasps> Mr. K, your hair, it's fluffy! <laughs> yes, it is fluffy, isn't it? Ooh, who that hot young hunk with head of pointy passion? <laughs> oh, Miss Mush, you're such a flirt. Wish I could stay, but I must prepare for my big speech at the principal's meeting today. I'll be pure dynamite with zero stage pride. Ah. Uh, a little help here, please? Ooh, I get idea. So, Todd, anyway, after we find Fluffy, I thought we could celebrate by holding hands. What do you think? Todd? Todd? I've lost Todd! <laughs> Did you find Fluffy? No, and now Todd's gone too! <laughs> Don't worry, we'll find them. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This no work too good. I go get Blowtorch. Hey, what's all that noise about? Mauricia, I know where Fluffy is. Oh, thank goodness. Thanks. No problem. Now let's go. Hey, where'd Bucket Boy go? All the principals for every school in the area are here. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What do I say in my speech? Super Big Big 3000 toupee? Don't fail me now. Huh? Ow! What was that? Wait a minute. A sharp pain in my head. That must be what a brilliant idea feels like. Ha! Who needs a speech when you've got brilliant ideas and amazing hair? My hand just had a brilliant idea, too! How are we gonna save Fluffy? Yeah, the only people allowed in there are principals. Hmm, exactly. Whoa! Say, you're new here, aren't you? Yes. <clears throat> uh, yes, I'm Principal Todd Swatter. <clears throat> well, pleased to meet you, Todd's Water. And can I say, that is some great hair. <laughs> attention, attention, attention. And now, the Honorable Principal Kidswater. Thank you, Bill. Actually, it's Roger. Roger Wilco, over and out. Good morning, Wigs. I have gathered here to pay to express my deepest boldness. <laughs> And I hope we can comb over any problems and hair plug the future. <coughs> I mean, uh, 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 uh. <gasps> Fluffy! Oh, Fluffy, I've been looking all over for you! I missed you so much! 
Excuse me, Principal Talking Pants, but could you stop your waistline from chatting up my hair? That's not your hair, Mr. K. That's Mauricia's porcupine on your head. <gasps> Nonsense! You're just jealous of my youthful allure. Especially with that cheapo rug on your scalp. Oh, I'm sorry for not paying more attention to you, Fluffy. You're my best friend ever. Look at this new photo album I made of us. I used the other one for my old pictures of Todd. <gasps> my hair! <laughs> I love you so much. Please, never, ever run away again. <laughs> I'm not gonna blow it next year at the principal's meeting. Oh, <laughs> oh,